Man, check out this GTO. I am making my salesman's job way too easy. A monkey could sell this car. This thing's gorgeous. 1967 Pontiac GTO, Pontiac Historical Documented. It was born an HO400 with a four-speed as rally gauges. This thing's been meticulously body off frame restored. Car's outstanding, top to bottom, in and out. Go to volocars.com. You can take your time looking at over 100 photos of the car. Read the description. That's where you'll find a price tag along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. For right now, though, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this thing's killer. Really nice car. We were very fortunate uh, to, to find this one here. Uh, body was off the frame. The frame, the chassis components, they were all sandblasted and powder coated. So every, you could eat off the bottom of this car. The floors are all immaculate metal, all painted a, a, almost a gloss black, like a semi-gloss black. So all the black metal underneath there is spotless, shiny, straight, clean metal. All of the suspension's been completely rebuilt. The steering is all rebuilt. Uh, the steering box and the rag joints been replaced. Upgraded with a Willwood forged Proline uh, brake system. It has drilled and slotted disc brakes at all four wheels. It has six piston calipers in front. It has a low car e-brake system. It has a nice dual exhaust system with accelerator mufflers. I think it has an X-pipe under there, all tucked up real nicely. The tailpipes are tucked up in there with turned down tips. The gas tank is shiny. It has stainless steel straps. The sending unit's replaced. It has stainless steel lines. Uh, just all done underneath there. You look up at the motor, it's still uh, immaculate. Uh, the four-speed transmission has been all rebuilt. It is a correct 1967 Muncie four-speed. The drive shaft is rebuilt, new U-joints. Um, it's got a 10-bolt rear end in the back. So yeah, again, underneath this car, show quality like brand new. The body, long, they call it Coke bottle body style, but long flat panels, and it is absolutely laser beam straight. The gaps are right on the money. Square and flush. No bubbles, no issues, no problems. It even feels slick to the touch. Now, if you want to get critical, if you look, if you look for it, like you're moving around looking for it, for some reason, there's some little waves right along the front edge of this trunk lid. Just standing right here, I don't see it at all. If I move around, I can kind of see them. Uh, that's getting critical. Other than that, this car is laser beam straight. Look at how the gaps, I don't think I've seen a GTO where the corners line up that nicely. Square and flush. Sides out of the car are absolutely straight. I don't see any body work showing, no cracking, no problem areas, no bubbles. And that's real nice right there. So the body is outstanding. The paint, gorgeous color. The metal flake is laid out. The clear coat is, is polished like glass. It is an absolute mirror. I'm looking at the reflection of the lights. There's no wavy. There's no orange peel. It's like a blue mirror. Now I did just notice there's two nicks touched up right there. So yeah, I'm sure there's a couple minor imperfections. But getting back to the gaps, look how all of this lines up so nicely. All the that going on there and it fits perfect. Uh, paint's gorgeous. 
Look at the front of the car. Look at the headlight bezels, the trim, the grills, the stainless, the arrowhead. All of that is just sparkling like new. It has correct T3 original headlamps. All the stainless was actually sent out and professionally polished. It doesn't look this good if you just buy it new. This has been uh, straightened and polished professionally. The frame, it looks like it's re-chromed. Now this is like an anodized trim. Right here, there's some scratches for some reason. The rest of this is all shiny and polished. The vinyl top is replaced. It has some painted on black pinstripe. The big wide rocker moldings are polished like a, a, a mirror. Back here, the bumper, all that's beautiful, all the stainless, all this trim, excellent. Rear window might be new, it's crystal clear. Windows roll up and down smooth, has a remote mirror, it's in beautiful shape. Windshield's new, weather strips and seals are replaced. Uh, the rev wheels, uh, 17, I think by eight in front, 17 by nine in back with uh, performance Cumho tires. You can see it's got a nice muscle car stance. Now let's open it up, show you the inside. Just like the rest of the car, the trunk compartment looks new. It is polished just as slick under here. God, it even feels slick as the outside of the car. The light works, you got the sticker, all the latch mechanism is polished. As the cloth wrapped wire, no, that's just a plastic wire going up to the light. The jam is slick, the weather strip is new. And then the whole trunk compartment, all clean, dry metal, very nicely spatter painted, um, has a spare and a jack, the mat, tire cover matches. I don't know if you can catch a glimpse of the housings and the wiring and the latch. It's just immaculate. Yeah, this car is outstanding. It's exceptional. Paint is gorgeous. The jams look like they're really slick and they're detailed and the weather strips and the sill plates are replaced. Door panels, armrests, window cranks, handles, that's all replaced. The metal trim's painted real nice. Little joystick is for the remote mirror. The dash area is all restored. You can see the chrome bezels are sparkling, new wood grain. It does have a rear defogger. It has the rally gauges that came with that tachometer. Now, I apologize, they're working. The ashtray is pulled out. We've got some spare parts. The mechanic was still working on this car. He's got a part coming for it. I didn't realize that. Um, factory AM FM radio. Look, look how everything is just so nice. The GTO emblem and the oh boy handle. Uh, glove box liner. Owner's manual. The light works. Nice kick panels and carpet and embroidered mats. Now this center console, he actually had it re-chromed. There's a stack of receipts that come with this car. And uh, this is a restored console. Steering wheel's real nice. Seat upholstery is really good. There's a split over on this side right at the seam. Uh, an upholstery guy can easily replace this. It's not a big deal. The light works at the back of the console. Now you might have noticed headrest. A rare option, factory option, and it's on the Pontiac paperwork. This car came with the headrest. The trim, all real nice. Look at the back of the seat. Oh, horn works. All that's real good. Complete set of original seat belts. And all the upholstery, side panels, all real nice. And then the back tray is that mesh tray with the rear defroster. There's a little black box in the corner. That's a, like a hidden antenna. The visors, uh, the headliners redone. Now, these are the optional map lights. Uh, that, Yep, they're working. That's an option on the Pontiac. See the visors, the mirror. That's been replaced. Pretty immaculate everywhere you look. This show quality car. Top to bottom, in and out. Even up by the door hinges, it's glossy. The 
here. We do have a folder. It comes with the Pontiac historical documents and a stack of receipts. So this is a um, 400 HO motor. It has the 670 heads, ram air springs on the valves, got the uh, little bit hotter cam, uh, restored factory carburetor, the choke, all the little bits and pieces, the vacuum tee, all that's nice. This is a correct air cleaner for the 400 HO motor. Uh, valve covers, it looks like show chrome. It has ram air exhaust manifolds. They've been ceramic coated or porcelain coated. And look at the firewall, all the clips and clamps. And uh, this stuff, by the way, is powder coated. The whole radiator support, the inner fenders. The radiator was upgraded to a four core. It's the same tanks, but they put a four core in it. The fan, the shroud, the hoses, all that's redone. Chrome alternator, power steering, new hoses. Uh, battery is bolted down, has the spring clamp cables, Willwood master cylinder, cadmium plated uh, brake booster. And look at the wiring and the wiper motor and the squirters are hooked up and look at the hood insulation. I mean, again, show quality everywhere you look. Yeah, you'd have one of the best cars in the show with this one here. I'm telling you, it's exceptional. You got a lot of beautiful cars. This one's really nice. Even the guys in the shop, uh, we're all talking about this one. And the colors, the motor, the four speed, it's it just got it all going on. This would be a $100,000, $130,000 restoration in today's times to duplicate this. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman about your questions. They'll help you finance it. They'll help get it delivered to your door at volocars.com. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon if you want to see the next video that's posted. Thanks for watching.